Hi, we're Stephen and Jess and Little Baby Hunter. And over the summer break right here in Australia, we worked hard to build a little cargo van into our new tiny house on wheels. But just as we were ready to hit the road, yeah, of adventures. One, two, two three. three. We found out we needed to wait for the correct licenses to come in. So we decided to head to New Zealand to wait the three weeks. And the last time you saw us, we were living on farms, hiking mountains, and spending the weekend relaxing as a family. We've now said goodbye to Mount Cook and made our way further down south on our little New Zealand adventure. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna take a quick moment to pause the incredible traveling that we are doing right now, because today, is a very special day. Yeah, you know what day it is? Today is Jessica's very first Mother's Day and even though we are so thankful to be traveling right now, I think it's important for us to pause, take a moment and celebrate Mother's Day because Jess is such an incredible mum to this little monster and I think we need to make it special. guys have been around the channel for a while you just know pretty much me Jess and Hunter just hang out all the time and it can be nearly impossible to try and surprise each other so right now we're in Wanaka and um, I'm gonna see what I can throw together for Mother's Day bouquet of flowers decoy coffee now let's hit the grocery store Alrighty, breakfast supplies done. Alright, Bubba, are you ready to make mum breakfast? some for mom? Was this your little helper snack? Is there gonna be any avocado left for mom? Baba, what have you done? What are we gonna have for mom's breakfast? I promise you're explaining this all to me. She's gonna be like, what is all over your face? <gasps> <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> this is avocado. <laughs> there you go. Have you been busy baking? Because I've been hearing you going. <laughs> She's been. Oh, thank you. That's all right. Oh, give me hamper. <laughs> oh gosh, I shouldn't have worn white. <laughs> Look at you, you messy little bubba. Oh, you dropped the card, bubba, on the way up. Oh my goodness, so someone's already had breakfast, I'm guessing. Oh, I didn't have enough hands to come and grab it down for you. Oh, this is cute, oh. Steve. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you not be even meant to be oh. shocked like it's the first time you've seen it? Oh. Yeah, it looks like you've written in it, baby. Oh, thanks, Steve. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Wait, Avocados. I'll be back. Look, Bubba, these are flowers. Do you want to see? Okay. There. What's a bit more for breakfast? <laughs> I'm guessing so. Oh, my favourite. Oh, Thank Hunter. you. Hunter, what happened to the rest of it all? Breakfast in bed. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
I cannot think of a more beautiful place to experience my first Mother's Day than here in Wanaka. We've decided to come out for a little lunch. Um, Stephen showed me the footage of what happened in that kitchen. Hunter, she basically licked all over my food. <laughs> so we've come down and we've set up right in front of what's it called? Hashtag that Wanaka tree. It's like a famous tree here in Wanaka. And at the moment it all looks like hashtag that Wanaka stick. There's no leaves or anything, but we've got a view of it and we've gone out for lunch at our favorite place. When we rocked up yesterday, everyone told us to go to a place called Big Fig for food. It was so good, we've come again. It's like, like kind of like a buffet of all this delicious, healthy comfort food. It is so good. If you were a boat, my darling, a boat, my darling, I see <laughs> the wind at your back. Did you just say, if you <laughs> were afraid, <laughs> my darling, a phrase, a hunter's my dream darling, come true right I'd now. The cars you like. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello. How'd you think of this? Happy Mother's Day. Oh, I thought it was breakfast. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, give us Mother's Day. You. Oh, Papa. It's really cute. <laughs> and it's in a plant store, which I thought was kind of cool. How did you think of this? <laughs> Stephen all afternoon is trying to convince me to go and get picnic supplies. And I'm like, I'm so full. We've been eating all day. And I was like, fine. And then he's like, oh, no, let's not have it at the... Lake, let's have it up this road. I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> How did you find it? Oh, we'll chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, look at this. Oh, Steve. Oh, it actually looks so good. It looks even so better than I was picturing. Cute. Oh. Make yourself comfortable. So, if they don't have matzos in New Zealand, I will forgive you guys for it. But we found this thing called Ginger Bear, <laughs> which is pretty much the best name ever. It's, it's actually Queen. Town. Yeah, which is our next stop. But I still can't get over this, Steve. It's oh, so yeah. sweet. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. There you go. Oh. Cheers to your first Mother's Day. Oh, cheers, Steve. I'll get you home when you are tired. Stand next to you. guys good morning everyone <laughs> good morning everyone yes our road trip has continued and we have arrived at our furthermost point here on our road trip so welcome to queenstown everybody this kind of feels extra special because 10 years ago this was our very first international trip just me and jess so it kind of feels extra special <laughs> that this is hunter's little first international trip here in new zealand and last night we just checked in to the coolest A-frame Airbnb. So we just had the most coziest night in this Airbnb and it's quite cool because the A-frame has actually been built really high up on these bricks, which means we get the most epic views from our living room and especially our bedroom. I am so glad whoever decided to build this A-frame to just chuck it as high as possible because as you slowly walk up, the mountains just appear and these are quite popular in America and it's kind of funny. We were looking back and we've never stayed in an A-frame before. Honestly, I don't think I've ever really seen one in Australia or New Zealand. So it's kind of cool that we get to stay at one. Look what I was talking about. Look at those views. That is Queenstown just below us. So the A-frame is two stories and it's split between two areas, the living area and the sleeping area. So this here is the living room and the kitchen. And something we didn't realize when booking this place is that we came in and we saw there was a lot of memorabilia to Sir Edmund Hillary, who was one of the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest. And we were like, oh, that's interesting. There must be fans. Found out the owner's dad is Sir Edmund Hillary, which I think is so cool. He's like a New Zealand icon. Even got his ice picks up here and it looks like it has signatures on them. Sir Edmund Hillary is so much of a New Zealand icon, he's even on the $5 bill. And I see they put some things up here. Could potentially be a rock from Everest. But upstairs is definitely our favourite spot. Also, as you come up the stairs, just casually up here is um 
his climbing boots with the crampons still on. So the place is two bedrooms, but of course we had to stay on this side because look at the views from our window. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are on the exact same page as us that um, waking up this morning was pretty epic. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy it? Hunter, you need to show them. So um, little bunny over here has definitely been replaced with... Hunter, where's your kiwi bird? With... Yeah, there's your kiwi bird. <laughs> <laughs> so Queenstown is pretty much the adventure capital of New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, there are so many just out of your comfort zone things you can do here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Woo! There are so many activities here that can get your adrenaline pumping. <laughs> you can do canyoning, which is one of the best activities we've ever done. You can do a rope swing. You can do bungee jumping. Paragliding skydiving so we thought the only way to initiate hunter oh, you, i don't know why you're clapping so the only way to initiate hunter into queenstown is to get her adrenaline pumping <laughs> it's the first time we've ever put hunter in her little snowsuit it's one degree right now this is the coldest i think she's ever felt and she's just you know smashing down her banana Oh, baby girl's first time in a gondola. What do you think, Hunter? Gonna get some pretty good views. <laughs> Her expression is just, what have you guys popped me into? <laughs> Hello, my little adventure bunny. I don't even think you know what's just about to happen. First one, say, I am brave. Yay! Oh my goodness, look at these. She was smiling when she got off. What did you think, Hunter? I loved it. Yes. <laughs> so we're going back for round two. I think we might have a little adrenaline junkie on our hands. We went down expecting just to go down once with her. Loved it so much, went down again, and I think we're ready to go down a third. I just appreciate you in a helmet. Yes. Yeah, I know you want to go back. All right, let's go. So heading up here on the gondola is by far our favourite thing to do here in Queenstown and it's extra special that we got to take Hunter Lujing because that was one of our funnest activities we did when we came here like 10 years ago. But something we have been looking forward to the most is that 10 years ago we came up here, I remember it being so cold because we we're here in the winter and we had the best hot chocolates ever. Like I'm pretty sure we have photos of us drinking those hot chocolates. I got up here and guess what? the hot chocolate machine isn't there anymore. Instead, they have someone making them, which I'm sure are good. But I remember last time it was this big pot full of hot chocolate just stirring in a pot. Do you remember, Steve? Oh, I do. I remember that hot chocolate. And unfortunately, I asked. They didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so they made us hot chocolates, but something extra special, seeing as Hunter has been so brave today, is that we got her a fluffy, in Australia they call them baby chinos. It's basically just foamy milk with a sprinkle of chocolate on top. And um, why is it as big? as our hot chocolate <laughs> or bigger that's a hack just get a fluffy <laughs> all right so i think we need to document hunter's first fluffy aka baby chino i'll get her a little spoonful all right hunter what do you think of this oh <laughs> what do you think oh 
Oh, she's gone. Gone in for seconds. <laughs> Good girl, girl. As you guys can see, we have major fond memories of our first trip together here and so much. We've talked about this infamous hot chocolate for, for a decade now. You guys will have to let us know if you've been on a trip, you had some food or an experience and you just can't stop reminiscing on it. I'd love to see all your comments below. Yeah, this definitely isn't as good. Oh, it's not? It's good, but it's not like, you know, that good. <laughs> We just wanted to say a massive thank you to 70 Mai for partnering up with us on this video and for sending us their brand new A800 4K dash cam. So we are about to fly back to Australia to move into Cooper the van full time, which is going to involve tens of thousands of kilometers that we are going to be driving. Even here in New Zealand, we've done thousands of kilometers so far. So we thought we should probably pick up a dash cam to capture any bumps that might happen on the road. So the A800 4K dash cam gives us super high resolution in crisp 4K at 140 degree viewing angle that I can view on this three inch display. By the way, the footage I'm getting from there, I might be popping it into the vlogs because it's recording all the time and I can just get some epic time lapses of our scenery. So if you're interested in yourself and picking up one of the dash cams, I'll leave all the details in the description below. Now let's head back to the video. I'm still there. You're still there? <laughs> I'm right at the top. Right at the top? Yeah. I have to try and get a picture. Where's my burger? Where's my burger? Ooh. Is that her? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, a visit to Queenstown is not complete until you go and visit Ferg Burger. I swear, Ferg Burger is the best burgers we have ever had. It's only our third time having one, but cheers, Steve. We seem to do it every time we come down to Queenstown. <laughs> I think we might have a new Ferg fan as well. <laughs> so good. Strung up some words in LA, baby. Made us a place of home desire. You had too much, but I won't say. Hey guys, how you doing? It's the next day and um, something special is coming up tomorrow. It's my birthday weekend and so we've decided to hit the road and come to one of the most beautiful places in all of New Zealand. Welcome to Milford Sound. Hey, what you got planned for mom's birthday, Bubba? What you got planned for mom's birthday, huh? <laughs> drive to Milford Sound is around three and a half hours and it is so stunning. Like right now in front of me, there are just giant mountains, snow capped, there's greenery everywhere. It is definitely one of the most beautiful drives that we've done. And I think it's the perfect place to go when it's your birthday. So about 10 minutes outside of just the most epic part of Milford Sound and they've just cut straight into the mountain to get us through. You are not ready for the views. No. Look, <laughs> look at this, it's so cool. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You go right up to the window. Wow. This place uh, looks new. I know, okay, I don't so know how old it is or anything. Look at this, Steve. They have to come. <laughs> All right, you can come too. Come check it out. <laughs> look at it from here, Steve. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow, I know when I was planning to come here, I was just thinking, it's a three and a half hour drive. 
do we really want to be driving for what, seven hours in one day with Hunter here and back? So I had a look and there was one place, one place you can book to stay here and it's this place. So I was like, okay, let's book a night. Didn't even look what the rooms look like because I was like, well, we need to book somewhere. And when I came into the room, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Wow. I'm so excited, Hunter. Yay. This is pretty cool. So fun, huh? Gosh, it looks so beautiful. Wow. This place is so beautiful. <laughs> this is why you come to Milford Sound, these almost sheer drop mountains and cliffs, and you're kind of like just in this valley with the stream going through that leads to an epic, well, we'll let you guys know about that tomorrow, but we're actually kind of lucky today, getting a little bit of sun. This place is notorious, notorious for being wet all the time, hence why it's so green here, but we're just gonna soak this up as much as we can before Milford Sounds gets soaked. <laughs> you can't just jump. <laughs> You're trying. You take me the Hey, is it a bird? Yeah, I can see it. Alrighty, I need to make today feel as special as possible, so kind of had to get Jess out of the room, so I sent her to go and get us some coffees, which already looks suspicious because I'm 100% exclusive the person that goes and gets the coffee, so are we going to make some little fun stuff for mom's birthday? Yeah. Okay, Papa, you are on streamer duty. Purple, we got pink. <laughs> when you just realised, probably should have done some party prep before. Don't know how long the coffee take here. Pull this up. Oh yeah. Okay, so this goes up here. with the spaghetti mess. Did you help with the spaghetti mess? Hello. Aww. Happy birthday, boss. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Aww. Um, you need to go look outside. Yeah, I know. It looks so cool. It is so beautiful. It's not raining. It's like there's all these like little waterfalls coming off the, Mountain. off the mountains. It looks so beautiful. Hey, it's my birthday. Oh, shall I open the present? Yeah, have a look at the present. Yeah, this is so cute, Steve. <laughs> oh, Peter Alexander. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> Some chocolate. <laughs> oh, a cookbook. Yeah, I thought for the van. It looked oh, cool. thank you. This is so cool. Get some little recipes going in the book. Oh, in the wow. Van. And we've been in like very cold places. I thought you needed some poochie pajamas. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> oh, Steve, these are super cute. Thank you. That's okay. Yay, and I saw breakfast was coming in. I know. That was perfect timing. Yeah, it's my birthday. Are you wanting a chocolate, Hunter? Chocolate for breakfast? Would love to totally take the credit for breakfast in bed, but this place does it for every person that stays here. Yeah. <laughs> this looks good. 
can't believe I'm having my birthday in such a beautiful place. I know, you just take a look over there. Mm -hmm. I think somebody wants some brekkie. Mm. Good job, you want some? What do you think? Morning birthday cruise in Milford Sound? I think, think it's pretty good and look there's no rain. Pretty lucky. Guys, it's another one of those super thankful days. I just realised this time last year we were having a quarantine birthday for Jess's 30th and wow, now oh. New Zealand. And now, now we're in New Zealand, this little monkey. Feeling so thankful right now, wow. Oh yeah, and this little monkey wasn't even here. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to describe the beauty of Milford Sound as we slowly cruise down the fjord. The towering mountains on either side make you feel as if you're inside a small handmade paper boat sailing down a stream. I can only imagine how small baby Hunter feels right now. Watching the waterfalls plummet down on either sheer side cliff and as the waves splash up against the boat, Alongside the hum of the engine makes the perfect soundtrack to match the views. Good snack while the views are epic. I think if you come to New Zealand, do not miss this spot. Milford Sound, they say it's one of the seven natural wonders of the world and you can totally agree. It is so beautiful, especially because it's quite thin where we drive through on the boat, so you really get like up close and personal with all these mountains. So after the long drive back from Milford Sound, we arrived in Queenstown and Stephen still had one surprise off his sleeve. We just checked into the Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, monster. <laughs> You're a cheeky monster. <laughs> we just checked into the Hilton here at Queenstown, and this is the hotel we stayed in all those years ago when we came here. And I told Stephen, we cannot just give them a room tour because we've already filmed that 10 years ago. So enjoy our little room tour. But I remember when we were here and we loved it and we would do walks along the lake. We found that little swing. It was really cool. So it feels extra special. I mean, we came here like nine years ago, so it had to be the final spot. That was such a good idea. I loved it. It's such a good birthday, but I think we'll end the video here. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and we will see you guys next time. All right. Bye.